of, uh, of tips <laughs> that have to do with being an old guy and, uh, and things that go on. It's a sad fact of life that the older you get, the uh, weaker you get. You lose some of your strength. And opening jars can be quite a challenge. And of course, we're, we all know the tricks of, of uh, tapping them on the counter, uh, running hot water over to try and expand the lid a little bit. And I, I'm not sure where I got this idea, whether it was an original or I saw it somewhere. Uh, but let me show you what works really, really well for opening these hard to open jars. Okay. So here we go. I've got a pickle jar that is your typical hard to open pickle jar. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and use, excuse me a second, we're going to take and use the old fashioned style can opener. And this might work with something else too. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it under the edge of that lid, just right along the very edge there. Okay? And then instead of, you know, prying down and poking holes in the lid, I'm just going to pry out on the edge of that lid just a little bit. Did you hear that pop? And now, boom, opens right up. And then, but the lid still works. So we didn't bend didn't, didn't bend the lid at all in that. So basically, you just hook it under the edge, pry that out just a little bit, and it'll pop that seal, and then boom, opens right up. So I don't know if I stole that from somebody in a video, or if it's something I just goofed around with and tried on my own. Uh, but in any regard, <laughs> it works and it saves all that torque on your wrist that, uh, you know, is such a pain when you're old. And then, as you know, uh, when you age, uh, your memory isn't the greatest. So, <laughs> so I tend to forget stuff, which I always have. It's nothing new for me to be forgetful. But one of the things that I quite often, uh, you know, forget to do is to replenish my milk. And I use milk on my cereal every morning. So uh, one day I happened to think about something. I thought, you know what? I should just get some powdered milk and have it on hand. So when I've forgotten to get milk, I can at least still have a bowl of cereal in the morning, right? So, this is the newfangled packaging for Carnation Instant Milk. And let me, let me tell you something. We all know that powdered milk pretty much sucks, right? Well, I discovered something about it years ago. And there's a trick to making powdered milk palatable. And it's just to use more powder than what the recipe actually calls for. When you use what they call for, you end up with this watery, you know, version of skim milk that just doesn't cut it. And you can barely drink it even when it's cold, right? Put in about 30% more, or maybe 20% is even a better figure. Put in about 20% more of the powder than what they actually call for, and boom, it's actually a reasonable facsimile of skim milk at that point. And you can, you can drink it, and it's pretty decent on cereal when you've run out of whole milk. <laughs> so anyway, that's my tips for old people in RVs.